Thousands of villagers in Zimbabwe are being forced from their homes over fears that the Takwi Mukosi Dam in the country's southeast could spill over or burst. If that were to happen, as many as 60,000 people living downstream could be put in danger. President Robert Mugabe has declared the situation a national disaster, and his government is now stepping up effort to move villagers to higher ground. It's been more than two decades since work on the dam began. The project has been held up by funding problems owing to the country's economic meltdown. Those delays could now have catastrophic repercussions. The dam's water level rose to 671 meters, dangerously close to spilling over. The solution has been to open the floodgates, but the volume of water coming into the dam from feeder rivers is still high. Fears were increased after a leak appeared at the base of the wall due to increased water pressure, but that seems to have been repaired. Mashingo province is drought prone and the dam was actually meant to rescue villagers. Ironically, this season has brought incessant rainfall that has created the impending threat. We normally receive um, uh, experience a dry spell between uh, the last week of January and to February, but this year we didn't experience that dry spell. Average rainfall for February 2013 was 172 millimeters. Within the first 10 days of the same month of this year, it is already 230 millimeters. But even without the dam bursting its banks, the heavy rainfall has already caused serious damage. There was a very heavy flow of water after the rains, which caught us by surprise. We just managed to salvage the little we could carry and fled. Most of our belongings were left behind and our household animals, like poultry and some livestock, drowned. Amidst all the devastation, some still cling to hopes that they can remain in the places they have called home for all their lives. I've lost everything and I was born here, so it's hard to leave this place. It's not just Mashingo province that is in danger. The Met Department forecast heavy rainfall in the region of 50 millimeters per day in some parts of the country over the next 10 days. We're expecting flooding over the uh, extreme north uh, western parts of the country that is in Mashona and West provinces. Government has sent around a begging bowl for food and emergency aid, and now the donors need to double their efforts with potentially more in danger. A year ago, Millions here were receiving food aid due to poor harvests after poor rainfall. Their prayers for more rains have been heard, but in a sad twist of fate, they're still in danger and face starvation. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Mashingo, Zimbabwe.